I've been waiting a long time for this sketchy sketch. <laughs> you are under arrest for illegal drug activities, bribing the mayor, who does that, bribing multiple police officers, my own people, attempted murder on me, me, and for the murder of sketchy of Scott Finn and to Officer McAllister, I ain't really like him like that, but it's, it's all good. Get this man out of here! Good afternoon, Mr. Butterscotch. Today we're serving water beans and chicken flakes. You said water beans? What is water beans? To be honest, I have no idea. It looks nasty though. I'm sure glad I ate before coming here cause damn, this food like it's contracted with herpes or something. <laughs> Good luck. Man, whatever. Y'all got some pudding or something? We sure do got some pudding. Here you go, Mr. Butterscotch. Enjoy. <laughs> How you doing, Sketchy? Can you do me a favor? Uh, what you want, Twitch? I ain't got time for this, man. Could you go grab me some coffee? The, the guards don't want to give me anymore. They said I'm at my limit today, bastards. I mean, well, maybe they could be right. Uh, how many have you had today? Come on, I've, I've had seven cups, man. It's no big deal. No big deal? Twitch, it's two in the afternoon and you've had seven cups of coffee. You just one crappy eruption waiting to happen. Nah, no, 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 no. Look, it's, it's not even like that. Look, if you give me that cup of coffee, it could aid me in my escape from this prison. And when I escape, I can finally go back to building that time machine I was talking about, right? And if I do that, I can go back in time and save John F. Kennedy from being assassinated. Yeah, yeah. So, so you see, if you give me this cup of coffee, now you're helping save America. Right, right. Are you sure you belong in here? Like, why didn't you try plead insane during your trial? You could have been sentenced to a psyche or ward and got the help you need. Cause, cause I ain't crazy, Sketch Man. Do I got a few loose bolts in my head? Maybe, but that don't make me crazy. Nah, nah. You gonna eat that pudding? Yeah, I am. You smell. When's the last time you took a damn shower? Now class, our next lesson we're gonna be talking about is the difference of first degree murder and second degree murder. The difference is intent, I-N-T-E-N-T. -E if you plan and your intentions are to purposely kill somebody, that's first degree murder. Punishment by life in prison since Bikini Bottom Outlaw. Execution last year. Now let's say if you kill somebody by accidentally running them over with your boat. That's second degree murder. Your ass just can't drive. Punishment by some years in a big house and life on probation. <laughs> That's if you get caught though. I forgot how many niggas I done killed. First degree killed. There's always an easy way to get away with murder. I can't tell you here now, but I could teach that class tomorrow. All right, y'all, that concludes today's classes. Get y'all asses out of here before I demonstrate first degree murder and make it look like a suicide. Damn. <laughs> Gabor, you teach a law class? Duh, Larry. I attended seven years of law school. Got my attorney license and all that. You a lawyer, Gabor? Since when? Since forever, Larry. I don't know. Who you think got O.J. Simpson off? They wanted to give his ass 10 life sentences before I took the case. <laughs> so you a good lawyer. A good lawyer? I'm the best goddamn lawyer in Bikini Bottom, Larry. Quit playing with me. Put some respect on my name, boy. <laughs> well, okay, Mr. Great Lawyer. If you're such a good lawyer, why don't you represent Sketchy then? You help that nigga out. Hmm. His trial ain't until five months from now. They got a good case on Sketchy. But shit, they damn near found OJ with a knife and blood on his hands. If I could save him, I could definitely save Sketchy. You right, Larry. I'm gonna go see right now. Gaymore, my brother. What you doing up here, man? Sketchy, when did you grow a beard? <laughs> you look like Gandalf. Anyways, so Larry gave me this great idea. I could represent you for your trial. Get you off this hook just like I did OJ. I got him off the hook too. Nigga, did you just say OJ, the OJ Simpson? Look, you been charged for a lot of shit. Illegal drug trade, racketeering, bribery, extortion, murder, enough to keep you in here for life. I could probably help you walk out here a free man after trial. I appreciate where you coming from, K-More. There ain't no way you gonna be able to get me off the hook. 
Bring all types of evidence on me. They might as well throw the key away, man. And yada, yada, yada. Evidence ain't the key factor, Sketch. All we gotta do is win over the jury, and you'll be straight. Work for OJ. <laughs> he was true definition of guilty. <laughs> His ass was done. Man, enough about OJ. Enough about this trial, man. I ain't trying to talk about that right now. How you been, K-Moy? I ain't seen you in a few weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry about this, Sketchy. I've just been very busy lately with all the classes. Man, Biscuits ain't even went on our honeymoon yet. And she been pushing about having a baby. Who damn. A baby? K-Moy, that's great. That's I don't want no damn baby, Sketchy. After babysitting John John, that boy scared the life out of me. I'm scared of kids now. I can't do it. They crazy. Right. <laughs> if you say so. So look, man, I know I apologize for a lot of things, but I haven't apologized you yet for not giving you your bachelor party. Ah, uh, bachelor party, smarty. Don't worry about that, buddy. Once we get you out of here, we can hit up any titty bar in the city. <laughs> With Biscuit's permission the first, of course. k -more, I ain't getting out of here, man. You living in a fantasy world right now. Dude, didn't I just tell you I got OJ Simpson now? I'm going to get you out of here, Sketchy. If it's the last thing I do, I'll do it. I did a lot of bad things, k -more. It took me a long time to realize it, but I realized and I have to accept it. And I'm okay with paying for the wrongs that I did in here. I need you to accept that too. Yeah, I guess you're right, Sketchy. I'll drop it. Thank you. All right, Mr. Butterscotch, time is up. Time to get your ass back to your sale. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. All right, it's time for me to go, K-More. Tell Biscuits I said hi. And give Baby my love too. I miss my baby. Of course, Sketchy, I got you, buddy. Hey, guard, here's some cash. Don't beat his ass too hard, all right? Damn, $20? I'll put the padding back on my beating stick for him. <laughs> Good looking out. Kyboy, is that you? What you doing up, baby? It's two in the morning. <sighs> I couldn't sleep. I went to visit Sketchy today and pitched him the idea of representing him in this trial to help him out. And oh, like you did OJ Simpson. Like how you got him off. Yes, baby. Exactly how I got OJ Simpson off. But he turned it down. It felt like he just giving it all up, baby. I don't know what to do. I mean, he's my brother. I can't just leave him in there. What you doing up? Oh, uh, I came down here for my late night snack. I was going to heat up some leftover turkey with some corn, some mashed potatoes, maybe a little bit of gravy and some cake. Anyways, baby, I still think you should represent Sketchy. Help him out as best as you can. But Sketchy doesn't want me to do it, Biscuits. Well, you can either give him what he wants or give him what he needs, sweetheart. Biscuits, baby. That got to be the most inspirational shit that's ever come out of your mouth this whole show. And you're right. Fuck what Sketchy said. I'm going to be his lawyer. <laughs> You want to have sex, Biscuits? Uh, yeah, sure, baby. But let me go eat real quick. I'm starving. Sketchy. Sketchy, wake up, man. Twitch! Man, what the hell you want? What time is it? It's time to get up out of here, brother. Pack your things. Let's go. My things? I only have a damn toothbrush. And even the jail gave that to me. Well, pack that then. And hurry up before the guards spin around back. How you plan on getting us out of here? This is a maximum security prison, Twitch. There ain't no way. Ain't you ever seen that movie Shawshank Redemption? That Stephen King movie with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman? Yeah, it's a classic. Very good movie. Did you chisel a hole in the wall with a rock? And hit it behind his Tupac poster? No. But that was a signed Tupac poster by Tupac himself. It was replaceable. Now it's ripped in half. I dug a hole over here in the ground with a spoon. I spent eight hours every night for the past five years digging it. Then why did you ask if I saw Shawshank Redemption? Because it's a good movie and I was just curious if you'd watched it. Okay, damn, man. You know what? I'm out of here. You coming or not, Sketchy? Hell yeah. Let's get out of... <sighs> you know what, Twitch? Nah. I don't think I'm gonna go with you on this. Uh, uh, come again? Say what? Y you'd rather stay here? Yeah, Twitch. If I go with you, that means I gotta live on the run for the rest of my life. Change my identity and all that. And I ain't trying to deal with that, man. Like, I don't wanna have to change my name to some shit like John Smith or Darius Tutwiler. I'd rather stay Clarence Butterscotch and carry out the full extent of my punishment. Keep it G, you know? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Your name's Clarence? <laughs> This guy's a gangster. His real name's Clarence. <laughs> that's, that, that's funny, man. The rise of this show got a good sense of humor. Whatever, man. Get your ass out of here before I yell for the guards. We good. We good. All right, Sketchy. <laughs> it's been real. 
You've been an interesting cellmate for the past three months. Uh, oh, before I go, I wanted to let you know I fondled you in your sleep. You fondled me in my sleep? Yeah, 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 a couple times. Nothing sexual at all. It was more of a spiritual fondle. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that, Twitch. Well, you'll have a long time to think about it. Bye, Sketchy. I'll write you. Please don't. I got to make me a shank, man. I can't have my next roommate fondling me in my sleep. She's weird. And Mr. Butterscotch, are you sure you have no idea where Twitch went? Positive, Warden. I have no clue. He didn't probably tell you anything, uh, mention where maybe he was going to escape or anything like that. To be honest, me and Twitch didn't even talk like that, Warden, so nah, he didn't tell me nothing. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Butterscotch. You know, you've been really great these past few months. You've been a great inmate. No problems are you at all. But I must warn you, if you know anything about Twitch's escape, you know you will be charged with aiding an escape, right? Well, I guess you can call me Stevie Wonder, because I ain't seen nothing, Warden. All right, Mr. Butterscotch. Hey, guard, take this inmate back to his cell. You got it, Warden. Bring your ass on here. Come on now. <laughs> I ain't got all day. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention to you. You getting a new cellmate today. He's from a maximum security prison. Woohoo, <laughs> that sounds like this your ass. <laughs> Damn, a new cellmate already? You know who he is? I mean, they don't tell me that much damn information. But all I can tell you is that he's from Fish Gang. And you know how crazy they ass is. So, good luck. All right, Mr. Butterscotch, you have a good night. I got to get to my eighth job. Pizza delivery. Hey, God. Yeah, what's up, Mr. Butterscotch? You think you can do me one favor? Mm, depends on what it is. All right, class. This is how to get away with murder one on one with your boy Kaimur. Always wear gloves. No fingerprint. Chop up the body and dip it into sulfuric acid. Make sure to wear a respirator. The chemist can call a respirator infection. Bury this blue eight feet deep down. Just in case bury an animal five feet above. In case the canine enforcement find a trace <laughs> with they little dumb ass. And bury any weapons if you use any, okay? Okay, that's the end of class. Get y'all asses out. And remember, this is for educational purposes only. Don't go killing nobody unless they deserve it. <laughs> All right, now. k Man, when the hell did you get a school bell? Hell, I don't know. The animator did it for me. He hooking the brother up. <laughs> Not only if he could have me six inches taller. I don't know why he won't do that shit for me. So, k you really think that you can get sketchy out of jail? I mean, what really is the details of his damn case? Huh, oh, Larry. I mean, Sketchy's in trouble for bribing the mayor. Maybe if he can convince the mayor to drop the charges, it could be something that he can avoid in court. Well, Sketchy's in jail, so I doubt he can do any convincing to the mayor. But how about me and you, we go get the mayor a little visit? That's a great idea, Larry. We should go pay the mayor a visit. Hopefully he can drop these damn charges. Let's do it. I don't let the go, I don't need your pity. Man, I'm a dog, got the keys to the city, get my leave in the fitty. Yeah. I just hit the door, let the who the fuck is it? I got a pizza delivery for baby. John John Ops. Yeah, ain't nobody order no motherfucking pizza. Huh, this is a message from Clarence Butterscotch. Clarence Butterscotch. That's my baby, Sketchy. That's my daddy. Sketchy paid for it, so it's all yours. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, wait. Ho, ho, ho. Come back here. Hold up. Run these pockets, nigga. This is about the one, two, this is about the fifth job I know you to have, ain't it? Uh, here's my wallet. Uh, my keys. Uh, oh, damn. Wallet. Boat key. Nigga, you got a boat? Okay, all right, all right. I see an unused condom, and you ain't gonna use it. <laughs> oh, virginal nigga. All right, here, get the fuck out of my house. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Tell my baby I miss him. Now get the fuck out. Damn, why she always robbing me? This made me piss myself. I ain't never doing nothing for these two again. So, what did you say you were gonna do with your tongue again to the mayor? Ooh, baby. <laughs> um, Mr. Mayor, you have two visitors here to see you. Uh, uh, tell them I'm busy. Tell them to go away. They said they had something to do with Clarence Butterscotch. <clears throat> Let them in. Well, uh, hello, fine young gentleman. Uh, how's it going? Can I get you anything? Uh, lemonade, water, bagel, head? Uh, a water would be fine, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Wait, did you say head? 
Me la mutejé, me dio que me dejé. Where's she at? <laughs> <laughs> It's not for free. She's imported. All right, assistant, give us some private time. So, what can I do for you? So, Mr. Mayor, you know Clarence is doing a lot of time in prison. And actually, he has some charges against you, you know, for bribing you and everything. And we were wondering if you could drop those, sir. <laughs> Absolutely not. Clarence Butterscotch made my life a living hell for these past few months. My wife almost left me because of the situation. A divorced man can never be elected mayor. The people want a family mayor, not a sleazy one. Well, hey, we could bring that footage back to the public eye if your ass don't comply. <laughs> Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? You threatening me? I had all the footage burned and buried the second they raided Sketchy's mansion. An animal like Sketchy needs confinement. He's a liability. Puts everyone around him in danger. Oh, come on, Mr. Mayor. It gotta be something we can do to get these charges dropped. I'll do anything. What can we do? Hmm. There is one thing. Election time is coming up and the polls are neck to neck right now with me and my candidate, Bob Fisherman. People love that he has the word fish in his name. It's ridiculous. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Mayor, but what does that have to do with sketchy? Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have him whacked. I want him dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Woo, that's a good one, Mr. Mayor. You almost got me there. Damn. I wasn't joking. I want you to kill him. Anyway, your choice. Just as long as it doesn't get back to me. And if you do that, I'll pull some strings. Give Sketchy a full pardon. He'll be back home next month a free man. Damn. I knew I should have been recording this damn conversation. I could have just blackmailed you with this. Well, yeah, you didn't. Now, can you two get up out of here? I am trying to have sex with my secretary. God. One hundred and three. One hundred four. One hundred five. Clarence Butterscotch, get up. Face the wall. Open the doors, guard. Yes, sir, warden. Clarence, meet your new cellmate, Tyrone. Tyrone. This is Clarence. What's up? What's cracking, cuz? Hey, God, how things go, you know, taking that pizza to my girl? I ain't never doing that shit for your ass again. She robbed me. Again. I had to walk 10 miles back to the house. And I pissed myself. I'm sorry about that, man. It's baby. You know, she kind of crazy, too. I buy you a new pair of pins, though. I got you. Uh, so, uh, Tyrone, you know, what you in here for? Oh, cuz, I'm in here for robbery, murder, and kidnapping. Ah, shit, that's crazy. Now, I'm here for basically being Tony Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Montana, you funny, cuz. Hey, Moore, man, you really gonna assassinate this fisherman, dude? Hell yeah, why wouldn't I? I mean, cuz, he ain't really do nothing, gay Moore. I mean, ain't your number one rule is only kill if the other person deserves it? He's a politician, Larry. Every politician got some type of corrupt system behind him. I mean, but I'll do some digging first. When I find some, I'll let you know, okay? Then we can go kill him. Will that make you happy? I mean, yeah, at least I feel better about whacking a dude. I'ma see you later. I got a damn booty call. Damn, Roach. When the hell he get so conscious? And all of a sudden, he want to be all spiritual. Have a heart. Look, baby, I love you and all, but before you come home, you're going to have to shave this shit off or at least comb the motherfucker because I'm trying to tell you the last time I told you to comb, you talking about you tenderheaded. How the fuck is you tenderheaded in your beard, nigga? I looked it up. It's not a thing. <laughs> baby, you crazy, girl. Whew. Man, you know I missed you. How John John been? Is he been good? John John has been really, really good. He only got suspended the one time. But check it. He got suspended for setting fire outside on the playground. But now they gonna study this little motherfucker. Because they like how he starting fires underwater outside. So it turns out it was good. It was okay. And then, you know, he been talking to everybody about how domestic you been with all the classes you been taking. You know, he been talking about you a lot because he miss you. He's so proud of you. Talking about all your cooking classes. One of his friends said maybe you had got turned out, but he said you gonna handle that when you get out. Because he said you not no bitch. You tell him, daddy. You ain't no bitch. Yeah, I got a new silly and everything. Real cool guy. Show me how to make toilet wine and shit. Name is Tyrone or something like that. Wait, run that back? Tyrone? Tyrone what? Yeah, I don't know. He never told me his last name. But he a little taller than me. Got a fade. 
Blue color. Got a crawl tattoo on his arm. Sketchy, that's my baby daddy. Nigga, that's John John's father. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. I read a quote from this book once. It said, I hope there's another world. We would not be judged too harshly for the things that we did wrong here. That we would at least be forgiven for the mistakes we made out of love. I don't know what that shit means, but damn, it touched my heart. Lord, forgive me, not for what I've done, but for what I'm about to do. Okay, class, to clean your gun, you first have to make sure it's empty and safe. Then you disable it like this. Get your cleaning spray and spray that shit. Grab your old toothbrush and start scrubbing. Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> now to clean the barrel, each caliber is different. So to make sure that the brush is the correct size for the full clean. Now real simple and bam, you ready to shoot niggas again. <laughs> I have the package you ordered, see? Oh, uh, okay. Would you follow me over here real quick, sir? Let's talk turkey. No problem, Shay. No problem. Your man's clean as a whistle, Shay. Your man's an ordinary Ned Flanders. Church on Sundays. Volunteer work every afternoon. Lovely wife, three kids. Not even a parking ticket, Shay. Are you sure? Not one accusation? Bob Fisherman is an angel sent from heaven, Shay. He just built a hospital for the poor with his own fan, Shay. Damn! Now, can I have my money? Nice doing business with you. See you later, Shay. Who is that, k -more? Oh, Larry, that was just an improper attempt that I hired to dig up some dirt on Bob Fisherman. Uh, so what did he find? Uh, Larry? Yeah, he's a sick bastard. Done some unspeakable shit. You won't believe it. Kick old people in the ass. Fart in the little kid's face. I heard he shot a goddamn grandbaby. That's crazy. Who the hell shoot grandkids? Right out of his own grandmama hand. Yeah, that guy's gotta die. But damn. If that Bob Fisherman dude did all that, his ass gotta die. I love to help you with this. Uh, you like what you see? Take a picture, it'll last long. Man, I ain't doing nothing but just looking at my replacement, cuz. Don't know what baby seeing you. Man, look, we grown men. I think we need to be mature about this, you know, for Jun Jun's sake. I bet Bebe be thinking of me when you piping her, cuz. Alright, now I'ma fuck you up. Uh, die. Get your ass on me! Hey, 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 hey. Y'all niggas fighting booty butt ass niggas! <laughs> Stop! Got your ass, dude! Separate! Clarence Butterscotch, you go to this door. Tyrone, you take your egg head ass to this door. Now, since this is y'all first strike and all and getting in trouble, y'all only gonna be in here one day. I'll see y'all ass in the morning time. Oh, damn! I'm already late for my next gig. And I gotta go home and grab my damn G-string. Shit. See y'all boys later. k -more. Man, Bob Fisherman is an outstanding guy. He don't deserve to die. I'm sorry, Larry. But I gotta do what I gotta do to stay sketchy. I can't let you do this, k -more. This is just some cold-blooded shit, man. Larry. You my best friend and all, and I love you, but if you try to stop me, I'll stump your little ass, okay? Game more. Man, I can't believe you're gonna threaten me like that. Well, look, do what you gotta do, but you gotta do that shit without me. Man, whatever. My damn piece of lit. I'm out of here. Right or wrong, good or evil, it don't matter. Not when it comes to your buddy. <laughs> damn, this shit is some dramatic shit. You make one fucking sound, she gets it too. Walk with me. Oh, please don't kill me. Please. I have all my life savings up in the safe if you need it. Please, I have a family. Look, man, I don't want none of that. This isn't personal. It's just business. Hey, look, Tyrone. I spend a lot of my life always looking over my shoulders. And I'm tired of it. Man, this ain't over, cuz. I got life in prison. And I heard from the grapevine, so do you. Means we got to be spending a lot of time with each other. I'm gonna slit your damn throat as soon as I get a chance, cuz. Hey, well, if this ass gotta be, then this ass gonna be. Everybody who go against me is already six feet deep, so I want your ass to know that right now. I'm gonna just have to add your little fat head ass to the list. Bet, cuz. I'm looking forward to it. If it means anything to you, 
I don't want to have duty. Oh my god. Father, please help me. Please, please. I love you, God. Take care of my kids. Take care of my wife. Take care of the church that I just built with my own hands. Everything. Man. Damn, I hate moments in shows like this. They always get to a nigga. I can't believe I did this shit. I really ain't shit. Get your ass up. I'm gonna go home and eat some peanut butter and jelly. So, how'd it go? I didn't do it, man. That man didn't deserve to die. We just gonna have to get sketchy out the right way and legal way, Larry. Hey, that's my boy. I knew you would come around. I'm down for that. Let's go grab a drink. It's on me. April 12, 2022, 9 p.m. Day 29. I found my chef in Bikini Body and I'm getting closer, see? I can feel it in my loins. My brother killer will face the Grim Reaper when I'm done with him, you see? I'm coming for you, k -more. Ah, see? That's all you can live, cuz? Man, that ain't nothing. Watch this. Mark, I'm about to pick up a whole 200 pounds on this food. One, two, three, cuz. Four, cuz. <laughs> man, that's cute. If you 18, you a grown man. I got hair on my face now. Watch this. Yeah, going for the big guns. One, two, three. Man, calm down, calm down, calm down. That ain't nothing. Watch this. What? You struggling? No, give me two seconds, cuz. Man, this nigga can't lift that shit. Put some money on it, cuz. Bet you I can lift it. I ain't do it. Bet I'm stronger than you. I bet you not, cuz. Put your money where your mouth is. I put my cigarettes where my mouth is. Let's do it. Box of cigarettes. You can't lift this shit. Say no more. Hey, what the hell going on over here? Man, we got some wages going on. If he lift this shit, he get a box of cigarettes and some money. A box of cigarettes and some money? Y'all niggas pathetic. Y'all know this is illegal to do this in the jail, right? Fuck all that. Scoot over. I got $10 on this ad. <laughs> So if I approach it this angle, Sketchy probably got a good chance. But if I'm going this way and talking about all the drugs his dad was selling, <laughs> both of our ass done. Damn, I gotta remember that scheme I did for OJ. I should have had a tape somewhere here. Oh my God, baby. I said dinner was ready 30 seconds ago. I'm starving. Uh, one second, bitch, because I'm almost done with this case. I know it. Baby, you better hurt three goddamn dice. I don't think your ass had was some chicken and some coleslaw. I ate 20 goddamn meals since then, baby. You need to take a break. I understand you want to get sketchy out, but you can't do it on an empty stomach. I don't know, bitch. It's sketchy damn trial next episode. Yeah. This dumb ass, let me tell you what this ass did. This dumb ass is caught on tape, going in the jail, killing Scarfin, flicking his head and looking at the camera and screaming, Hey, my name is Sketchy, a.k.a. Clarence Butterscott, but I just killed Scarfin. Fuck all you hoes. Ain't that a goddamn idiot? But then again, OJ did leave a goddamn bloody glove on the thing with his DNA. <laughs> so if he can get away with that, Sketchy can get away with this shit. But I'm still nervous, biscuit. Oh my god, why would he do that dumb shit? I mean, one time I was caught on camera stealing a cupcake. But at least I ate that motherfucker and made it disappear, baby. I have no clue why his dumb ass would do that. Literally makes no sense. But the jury might give his ass a break on killing Scarfin. I mean, he was a bad guy. Hell, they even might give his ass a break on killing Sketchy. He's also a bad guy. In <laughs> that ugly, cock-out ass guy. <laughs> he was a bad dude, too. But the problem is, they pinned a Sketchy probation officer death on him, too. Oh, my God. Did he actually do it, K-Boy? No. Sketchy was tied up. His P.O. died saving my life. It was some sad shit. A whole season later and the people still come in, they miss him. He's dead, guys. And besides, he ain't like my magic trick. So really, fuck his day. <laughs> I'm the best ever. I mean, but can't you just get the actual shooter to confess? I mean, it's one of Sketchy, your old goons. Then he worked for Sketchy. And now his ass working for whoever Sketchy left it to. Uh, I mean, you can just go find out. Then you can clear up Sketchy. You right. I'm just going to visit Sketchy today and see who he left in charge. 
Fuck you, baby. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> oh, my God. It's about damn time. Come on. Damn, y'all. Hurry up. I'm starving. See? Even Larry looks small and hungry. The biggest link up in here. Mine ain't nothing to it but to do it, cuz. Get out the way. My turn. Oh, he can't do it. Wait a minute. Uh, I, damn, cuz. Shit. She whore. Yay! Y'all yeah. niggas run me my money. Don't give me my stuff before I beat y'all ass and y'all sales. <laughs> give me my damn money. I knew my boy Catchy was gonna win in this. Y'all some idiots going over this dude Tyrone. Nigga got one eye. <laughs> Damn, this job come with perks. I can make niggas fight niggas and get money off of it. <laughs> hey, but now y'all going back to y'all sale. Vegetation now is about to start soon. Let's go. Chop, chop. Good job, Sketchy. <laughs> Let me know if you need some extra time out. <laughs> I messed with you now, boy. I left a cotton of cigarettes under your bed. <laughs> Good job. Good looking now. Hey, this ain't done, cuz. I ain't finished with you. Just wait till I catch you slipping. Mark. Hey, boy, man, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Sketchy. How you doing? Man, just got done whooping this weak ass doing the weightlifting contest. I'm strong as hell now. See, you look like it with this damn Ben Laden beard. <laughs> like you can knock out six niggas up in here. I actually can. I believe it. But what's up? What break you down here? I just want to see what's new. You got a prison wife yet? <laughs> I know you've been smacking that ass in here. <laughs> Man, hell no. Stop playing with me. But look, on some dramatic shit, Baby's baby daddy is my new cellmate. You lying. Damn. That is some dramatic shit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like the scary shit come on. You know the little other sound effect you got to look up on YouTube and you kind of find it, but they still got copyright claims on it. I hate this shit. Yeah, me too. But anyways, yeah, it's crazy. Then I tried to get cool with his ass, but... He pretty much threatened to kill me. Oh, damn, Sketchy. I mean, don't you got goons up here or something? You should tell somebody so you can have some type of protection. Man, hell no, I ain't no wreck. I ain't worried about that dude. Besides, I made me a shank as soon as my old cellmate was talking about he was funneling me in my sleep. I'll never forget Twitch for that shit. Can't wait till I see his ass again. I feel violated. Oh, oh, wait a minute. He fondled you? Like with his fans or with his dick? Oh, I still don't know, k -more. He said talking about it was spiritual or something. I don't know if he was talking about he digging or not, but I'm going to kill his head. He never elaborated that for me. Damn. Well, don't think about it. Your head going to go crazy. But anyways, I'm here because I need to know who you left in charge after you quit the drug game, Sketch. Oh, man, I left my old goon Charles in charge. He's like my right-hand man. I can trust him with my life. Thank you, Sketch. All right, I got to get up out of here. I got things to do. Don't get folded in your sleep again. <laughs> he got to do with his dick most differently. <laughs> Shut your ass up. He said it was a spiritual one. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Oh, damn. They got a shark tank? A pool table? Damn, y'all niggas turn it up up in here. Sketchy never had this place fun. I want to stay here again. <laughs> What's up? Hey, yo, what up, K-More? It's been a while, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Charles, I need your help. So, when we was at the warehouse, one of these dudes, not seeing you, shot the P.O. I need to know who the hell shot the P.O., which one of these goons did. And if I do that, I can have a sketchy name clear. You get what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. He's orange, three feet tall, wears a white beater. His name is Blake Puff, Miss Puff, old husband. Yo, that man dead. What? How? When? He got busted slanging coke. Got into a hot pursuit with the feds. Shooting and shit. Yo, he rather die than go to jail. Rest in peace. Oh, damn. Bitch, you love souls up. Oh, and I know. Yeah, that's my favorite one right there. That boy goaded. Should call him up and get him one of these episodes. Hey, who knows? May happen one day. <laughs> what the hell going on down there? Oh, damn! He ain't kicking his ass. Should I help? Should I not? This nigga wanna kill me. I can't watch nobody get jumped. It is Jun Jun Pops. Damn, I gotta do the right thing. Hey, break this shit up. Break this shit up before I murk all y'all ass. Now, what the hell going on? Hey, yo, 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 yo. Yo, hey, yo, ain't that the guy that was the lieutenant of the fish gang killers? 
got shot up, left for dead, went to jail, came back and killed a lot of our own people, went to work at a fry cook job, and then became Bikini Bottom's drug lord, and gave it up just because he missed his friends? Shit stupid, man. Y'all old news. You ain't even a kingpin of Bikini Bottom no more. Good job, good job. No, that is true. Story so real sounds like I can sell it for a movie. Well, even a book. But I still got mob ties out there, boy. Can have you, your family, your friends, even your fucking mailman killed. You know me, you should know how I handle my business, one way or other. Man, alright. I feel you, big dog. Respect, respect, respect. Tyrone, your ass got lucky. Next time you won't be, pussy. Man, fuck you, Mark. Man, I had the situation handled. I ain't need your damn help, cuz. Man, they ain't trying to hear that. They would've killed you if I ain't intervened. Look, bruh, I don't like you. You don't like me. But we don't have to like each other. I'm piping your baby mama and chilling with your son. And that shit sucks. But I respect baby. I respect Jun Jun. Hell, I even love the little kid. That's what you should be cool with the fact that I respect your child and make sure he always straight. Man. Fuck. Man, I guess you right, cuz. You right, I don't even want to admit it, but I but you right. I mean, Lil Jun Jun was a little trippin' kid out there because my ass was locked up. But, shit, you stepped up, and I appreciate that. And somebody need to get Bay Bay straight, so I appreciate that too. And you all right, little dog. You cool with me. Oh, well, shit, you don't feel like slitting my throat tonight, do you then? Oh, ain't nothing changed. Hell yeah, I still want to slit your throat, cuz. But my son wasn't like that, so you good. Oh, well, cool. You trying to smoke a pack of these cigarettes with me? That damn guard left it up under my bed. Oh, hell yeah. Shit, I ain't had no cigarette in a minute. Let's do it. Man, that was some sweet shit. <laughs> like, a, like a hood soap opera or something. Man, that was great. Hey, wait a minute. Y'all niggas got contraband. <laughs> I'm lying. That's just the cigarettes I gave your broke ass. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I got to go to my next dog. Sorry I couldn't be any help, k -more. Man, it's a tragic scene sketchy locked up. I hate it. It's all good, Charles. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. His case start real soon. His damn case harder than OJ. <laughs> I thought I'd never say that. Uh, you know what? Don't worry, k -more. I got a plan. Come here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute, nigga. You look at me in my ear. Stop. <laughs> that just might work. Another day, time to get this guap. <laughs> All right, Roger, you have a good day. Job number one, let's get it done. <laughs> Next stop, Main Street. Remember, don't talk to the bus driver. Hi, Mrs. K. Moore. How you doing on this lovely day? I'm doing fine. Um, does this bus stop at the all-you-can-eat buffet? It sure does, Mrs. K. Moore. Don't worry, we gonna get your ass there. Everybody, they clear. <laughs> oh, 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 hurry up. I wanna get there before all the good food is gone. I gotta be first, I gotta be first. La, 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 la. Making my way downtown, walking fast, fight. Oh! Hey, my brother, you think you can spare me some change? Man, hell no! Get your ass on! You better get 20 jobs like my ass got. <laughs> I'll stay on the grind, boy. What you know about it? Broke ass. <laughs> Job number two, what it do? Your Honor, I'd like to start out by saying my client is a dumbass. You ask him two plus two, he gonna stay tartar sauce. The boy obviously ain't intentionally do it. Did you sponge, Bob? No, I did not. Yeah, no, that motherfucker guilty. Next case. Well, Sponge, I'll try my best. Oh, I gotta do my next job. Job number three, let's get this cheese. Next case, the people of Bikini Bottom versus Darius Tutwiler. Looks like you in the world of winning trouble. <laughs> I love sending you to jail. I don't even want to see the evidence. Send this nigga to Guantanamo Bay. I ain't even got to show that. Where you going, baby? Please. Let Job number four. Let's make some more. Next. Yeah, I'd like to withdraw $35 million, please. Damn. $35 million? Boy, you must have thrilled the jobs. <laughs> Let me get that for you. Hey, can somebody open the damn vault? This rich ass nigga wants the paper. Job number five is do a down time. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 
Anybody here? I got y'all crispy chicken. Oh, I see what's going on here. You desperate and didn't want to give me my damn tip. I see how it is. I'ma just eat this food right here in front of you. Mmm, so damn good. Love me some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and you, you had the nugget. Mmm. Good old lemonade. A few minutes later. Alright now. Y'all enjoy y'all day. <laughs> okay. What's next? I gotta get to the jail. Damn. Job number six. I'm feeling rich. <laughs> Hey, CO, what did I miss? What's been going on with these ugly ass niggas? Aw, oh, man, no, we doing surprise inspections. Actually, you gotta check Clarence and Tyrone over there. I got it. Move! Y'all niggas get out the way. Let me see what we got here. Oh, some cigarettes, weed, a shank, porn magazines, toilet wine, a mouth to Santa's workshop. What the hell y'all niggas doing? Oh, man, it's all good. Hey, Sketchy, how you feeling? Your trial star next episode. <laughs> What's supposed to be this one, but the creator just said fuck it, and he wants to do something to me because the fans like me. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. But here, whatever they find, I handle it. I'm a G. Hey, uh, well, all right. But do me this favor. Rehide your country band. I ain't Steve shit. <laughs> you can call me Steven Wonder. <laughs> Job number seven. I'm finessing. <laughs> La -da -da. Oh, damn. This big guy came to his house. Hey, yo, man, what's up, bruh? Thank you. This gotta be the pocket rocket I ordered. That's too much information, sir. I don't need to know what your little ass be doing. <laughs> little stinky, dropping roach bottoms and shit. Roaches in bikini bottoms. How does that even work? Job number eight. I'm never late. <laughs> Damn. I'm late. Damn, man. This fucking shit. I gotta deliver this damn prosthetic leg. Why do y'all need all these prosthetic legs for? Just a word of advice. Don't eat the Krabby Patties. Damn, learning new shit every day. <laughs> you got it, Mr. Krabs. With your broke ass. Job number nine. Gotta go pay my fine. Breaking news. The trial of Clarence Butterscotch starts next episode. If Clarence is found guilty, he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Are you keeping up with the case? In other news, SpongeBob is found guilty for public exposure. His nasty ass was showing his dick. <laughs> That'll be all today. Job number 35, some some. I'm fucking tired of rhyming. <laughs> hey, yo, let me get a drink right away. Hey, man, why the hell do you work so much? Because I got 12 kids, man. When well, my bitch got pregnant, because I was expecting only one. But it's fucked me over and got 12 of them little bells. And all of them want iPhones, Jordan 2K. One of them want to go to beauty school on great fans kids. They need to get a job. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's toast. You got a sketch, dog. Hey, you looking sharp, cuz. You gonna win the jury for sure. I don't know, Tyrone. I think they're gonna throw the whole book on my ass. I'm gonna face life. You'll be fine, cuz. Don't even worry about it. Hey, but if you ask me, cuz, I think you got a better chance if you shave. You think so? Man, hell yeah. You gonna go up in there looking like a summer Bin Laden? They gonna send your Bin Laden ass back right up in here. <laughs> you right. Let me go ahead and cut this shit off. La 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 la. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. <laughs> Ice right, Sketchy, you ready? Yeah. All right, bring your ass. <laughs> you know your head doing life. I am gonna miss you if you get found anything, Clarence. I've been having fun with your dumb ass. <laughs> you entertaining. Man, this is it. This is what everybody been waiting on. Don't mess up, K-More. Don't mess up. K-More. What's good? Sketchy, you shy. Oh, yeah, you definitely gonna win over the jury. Man, that's what everybody's seeing. Didn't nobody like the beard? I'm gonna be honest with you. Hell no. When I saw baby roaches growing in that damn thing, I knew damn well you was over with. Man, whatever. It took me three months to grow this damn thing. And I'm glad it took you five seconds to cut it off. <laughs> How you feeling? Man, I'm just ready to get this over with. Well, don't worry, Sketch. You're gonna be coming home soon. Everybody, all rise for Judge Matthews. This nigga stink. <laughs> um, the people of Bikini Bottom versus Clarence Butterscotch, aka Sketchy. How do you plead? Innocent, Your Honor. Your Honor, my client here may in fact have done a lot of legal things, but is it wrong to act out of self-defense? 
I'm listening. Your Honor, can I call you Matthew? Um, hell no you can't. Continue. All right, Your Honor. So, in the case of Clarence Butterscotch killing Sketchier, he did not. There's an actual police report file saying that him and I got kidnapped. And when him and I got kidnapped, that's when Sketchier got killed. By one of his own goons, not us. That's also on a police report. Well, I mean, y y you can say that, but he's on clear footage killing Scarfin. And not only that, he looked in the camera and said, fuck all you hoes, right? Right? Well, all right, uh, attorney. Where's your evidence to prove that he said all these things? Thought you never asked, judge. I have it right here on this video. Here you go. Man, fuck all you- uh, What the hell's going on here? What is this? And right here. Ooh, I did it. Oh, damn, Sketch, I think there's Larry on the screen. <laughs> My boy. Ooh, I thought I'd never love that roach until now. This is a goddamn roach dancing. This is not the video of Clarence Butterscotch. But, Your Honor, it was right here. I swear to God, it was right here. What, what the hell is this? Who the hell roach is this? Well, seems like to me, you don't have any evidence on Clarence Butterscotch. So it seems that there's no evidence on him killing Sketchy Error. And then you don't have any evidence on the boy killing Scarfin. I don't know about this one. Well, um, he did commit a lot of drugs and crimes throughout Bikini Bottom. This nigga's such a hater. Okay, so if he did all that, where's the evidence? Yeah, where the evidence at, nigga? Judge, look at these photos right here. This is clear evidence of him giving kids weed. Can you believe this, Judge? And this is also clear evidence of him holding a gun and hitting someone in the head with it. I mean, this guy is dangerous, clearly. Well, now this right here is some hard-hitting evidence. Woo! Not looking so good. Now we got us a show. Damn, Sketchy! Told your ass stop selling drugs to kids. I did stop! Later. Fucking idiot. You stupid and SpongeBob. Oh, now I gotta put on my goddamn thinking cap. And last, but not least, we have the death of Clarence Butterscotch's own parole officer, Officer McAllister. Man, I would've never killed my P.O. like that. You got me fucked up. Order, not, not, not order. I have both of you sent your ass back there. Sketchy, shut your ass up. I got this. Your Honor, my client did not do this. The parole officer saw me and Sketchy tied up and tried to help us. Then that's when one of Sketchy goons shot the P.O. Now, do you have any evidence of this? Uh... I would, Honor, but his eye is dead. Well, seems like nobody knows who kills who. Exactly, Your Honor. If he is the man that actually killed the parole officer and he's dead, then what now? I think he's bluffing. Yada, 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 yada. Ain't nobody bluffing. Damn. Sketchy, this ain't looking good for us. Just keep your fingers crossed and your ass tight. Woo. Well, we have a good, quite of a lot of evidence on Clarence Butterscotch, but we have to hear from the jury. But before then, both of you attorneys will have your closing statements. Attorney number one, go ahead and go. Thank you, Judge Matthew. Jury, do you really, really want a man like Clarence Butterscotch, AKA Sketchy, to really be on the streets? This guy's a damn menace. Smokes weed every day, no one likes him. Stinks, sells drugs to children. And obviously, he's a murderer. Jury, I think we'll all be doing ourselves a favor if we get this man off of the streets and back behind bars. Thank you, Judge Matthew. That's all the time I need. All right, Attorney K. Moore, step up to the jury. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> I mean, Judge Matthew. Jury, look, I know Clarence Butterscotch don't look that smart, never really smell good. And he does smoke weed. Hey, man. Hey, such your ass up. I'm going somewhere with this. But he's a great guy. He goes to work on time. Even though he'll be high, he still gets there. When I needed a place to stay, he let me come stay with him. No questions asked. And if I need to stay, I've been thriving ever since. <laughs> I have classes. I'm married. Matter of fact, when me and my girl was going through some problems, Sketchy even got us to hook back up. He was the one that made me marry my biscuit. And i never regret that. Thank you, Sketchy. Even when I made a mistake and killed somebody, Sketchy helped me hide the body. Uh, disregard that. Uh, but like I was saying, Jerry, this guy's an amazing person. He's not 
this criminal, like this asshole over here is trying to make him out to be. Sketchy has a lot of lovely people in his life. And Sketchy has done a lot of great things, even for kids. You know, to be honest, when he was giving those kids weed, he was actually making them kids feel better because they had got their ass beat earlier from a bully. So Sketchy told them if they smoked, the injuries would kind of reduce. And it did. So I'm here to tell y'all, this is not the man that this guy is trying to paint a picture of. Sketchy is the awesome guy. And Jury, I think if you believe in second chances, you believe in Clarence Butterscotts. I love this guy. Judge, you should love this guy. And he's an example of the American story. Now ask yourself, what would Morgan Freeman do? Thank you, Jerry. Oh yeah, this case is mine. This guy's definitely gonna fucking lose. Can we get this over with? I'm ready to eat. Now, 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 everyone settle down. Jerry, have you made your decision? Sketchy, I tried my best. Ah, <sighs> K-Moore, you're a fucking idiot. But I love you. Thank you anyway, brother. I love you too, Sketchy. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We don't got fucking fingers. Why do you keep saying that? I don't know. It's in the damn script. Shut up. All right, Jerry. What do you find here, Clarence Butterscotch? We, the jury, find Clarence Butterscotch. Guilty on all counts. I'm going to jail. I'm sorry, Sketch. Psych. I'm lying. We find him innocent. What? What? Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Nah, 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 nah. Shut your ass up. Be quiet in my court. Clarence Butterscotch, you're free to go. Innocent. Scotchy! We did it! We did it, Scotchy! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I love you, Scotchy! I love you too, baby girl! I love you, John John! Hey boy, I can't believe you actually got me off! Man, how the hell you do that? Oh, Sketchy, come on. Everybody has a heart, even for your dumb ass. Yen, you got $10 million for the damn jury. I'm pretty sure you can get away with anything. I told the shark to pay him off. You did what? Oh, shut your ass up. It was for your own good. How the hell you think OJ got off? <laughs> because we liked him? Hell no. He paid up that damn guap. <laughs> now come on. Let's go to the house. Hey, boy, I love you, man. Let's go. Bitch. Huh, I'm sure gonna miss beating his ass. Oh well, Tyrone ball head ass still up in there. <laughs> That's his ass. Man, Kamal, why the hell are you making so much food for? It's only three of us. Well, four, I guess if you count Larry ass. Because Biscuit said she want 15 burgers and some hot dogs. So, could you let me finish, please? Oh, came on, man. You sure know you know how to grill, boy. This so good. Appreciate that, Larry. Oh, look at the two brothers sitting next to each other. Oh, damn. You know, I really never noticed the differences between these two until now. Look at it, Larry. I mean, yeah, you right. That's crazy. Hey, how can y'all be twins but be so different? Lawrence is an outstanding normal civilian while Sketchy is a whole menace of society. What made y'all so different? Did y'all parents uh, divorce or separate or something? Um, no. We were both raised by our mothers. Our fathers was gone before we were born. And our mother provided for us the best way she could. Um, sends us to prestigious schools. So, why did Sketchy end up like, well, Sketchy? What you trying to say? No disrespect, Sketchy, but I will trust my 401k with Larry. I wouldn't trust you with a pencil. <laughs> well, if you must know, my life changed at a young age. At Rock Bottom Preschool. Rock Bottom Preschool? I went to that preschool. Hmm. Must be a coincidence. When we were younger, me and Lawrence were close. Inseparable. We was exactly the same. Till one day, Mr. Jacob's classroom. Oh, wow. Clarence, you have an amazing talent. One day you're gonna grow up and be a famous artist when you grow up. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. I wanna be like Picasso. And then a fire got started in the classroom. It burned down the whole school. No one got hurt though, but the school's beyond repair. They blamed it on me. And before I completed it wasn't me, they already listed me as a delinquent. And ever since then, I was now the bad guy. They sent me to Juvie for two years, and by the time I got out, I was the man you see before you today. Damn! That's sad, Sketchy. Who knows what you could've did with your life if you wasn't framed? Yeah, it was a travesty. To this day, we never knew who really did it. Uh, 
Guys, I may know who started the fire. You do, k more? How? What you talking about? Well, okay. So you see, I also went to Rock Bottom Preschool. And I also was in Mr. Jacob class. And I always wanted to be a firefighter when I grew up. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Do you got a hall pass? A hall pass? No! Then, that right there is a violation. I'm the hall monitor. I didn't get this slash just because of my good looks. <laughs> but you know what? They ain't paying me. So go on. on. <laughs> Hi there, Kmore. What are you painting there, little buddy? I'm painting a firefighter because I want to be a firefighter. I'm sorry, son, but you can't be a firefighter. We live underwater. Fires are really hard to start down here. We only have two firemen in the whole city because of how unlikely that happened. Why don't you try to be a teacher when you grow up? I don't want to be no damn teacher. Mr. Jacobs, you crazy. I know. I saw Mr. Jacobs I could be a fireman by putting out a fire in the classroom. <laughs> Came on, you a genius. That wasn't the hardest set on a fire. I don't know what Mr. Jacobs was talking about. We really need more firefighters in this town. We only have two. All right, firefighter Kmore here for the rescue. Ah! Oh damn! I thought that would have been enough to put it out. I should go drink some more water so I can go again. Who did this? Who did this? Who started this fire? How could this happen? Uh, uh, it was that kid right there. I saw him with my own eyes. What? Yeah, it was him all right. Put him in handcuffs. Put tape over his mouth too so he won't deny it. <laughs> That'll work. k you started that fire? Man, you ruined my life. I was labeled as a criminal before I could even spell the word criminal. I'm sorry, Sketchy. I didn't know I was a kid. I mean, you are maroon, so. What you trying to say, k -more? Uh, I'm sorry. You know what, k -more? It's all right. I mean, yeah, I went to Jude for two years. Yeah, it completely changed the course of my life. But who knows what I could have probably been? A doctor? But it could be worse. I could have ended up like learns here. <laughs> so, hey, you did me a favor, k -more. <laughs> I'm glad you forgive me, Sketchy. Can't believe we met in preschool. What are the odds? That's crazy. You tried to put out the fire with your piss, k more. Oh, hi there. You scared the bejesus out of me. My name's Smalley, Associate Production Coordinating Directorial Associate Managing Departmental Division Office Supervisor of the International Network Distributor Corporation Management Organization Association of Men Who Love Boobies. And I am here to proudly share a fantastic story of my two favorite idiots, Sketchy and Kmore, and their adventure on meeting Bigfoot. How is Bigfoot underwater, you ask? I don't know, it's a cartoon. But I guarantee you're gonna ask us in the comments anyways. So sit back, grab your weed, and read along with me. <laughs> Once upon a time, I don't want to be late. I ain't trying to get bit in my ass by the mosquitoes. All right, I'm coming. Got to make sure I bring some weed with me on this trip. Freaking hay camping. We got to go to the exact spot in the woods where I planted weed at 10 years ago. Wait, how in the hell do you even still remember somewhere you plant weed 10 years ago? You were served by the 100 people, Sketchy. I got good memory when it comes to drugs. Trust me. And, of course, I spent $500 a month on security cameras to make sure it's still there. <laughs> Hey, more. Go get the snacks. I'm going to fill up the gas tank. All right. You boys plan on going up in the woods, huh? People who go up there never come back out. <laughs> There's this thing called Bigfoot. You ever heard of it? Hell no, I ain't never heard nothing called Bigfoot. Well, he walks around seven foot, big as hell, with a big ass foot. You boys better watch out. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sketchy, sketchy. Jesse, is Bigfoot real? Man, get the hell off me, grown ass man. Talking about is Bigfoot real? Boy, your ass worse than Lawrence. Here's my weed right here. Good. All right, we gonna set up camp. Cool. What should I put the key? I don't know. Somewhere you'll remember. Hmm. Okay. Perfect spot. Dude.
days later. Please don't tell me your dumb ass left the keys, k -more. In the ignition the entire two days we've been out. <laughs> okay, I won't tell you that I left the keys in the ignition the entire two days we've been out. <laughs> k -more, you a fucking idiot. My fucking phone dead. Oh, damn, mine's on 1%. I gotta make a phone call. Hey, Larry. Is my favorite TV show recording? Oh yeah, man, I did that before you left. I got you. Appreciate that, my guy. Yeah. I couldn't imagine not seeing the love in the wrestling. Man, what the hell? You wasted one phone call to fucking call Larry about your TV show? Catch it. That shit important. You don't know what's going on in this season. It's crazy. I couldn't miss that. I'd rather die. I could tell. Try to call somebody else before your phone die. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Skitty is dead. Game more, I hate you. Now we stuck out here for the rest of the night because of you. Don't worry, well, we gonna get home. We just gotta stick together. Somehow that sound like a bad idea when it come to you. It's all right, we just get some sleep, and then we'll go home in the morning. Skitty! Skitty! Man, what? I'm scared. Man, get the hell away from me. <sighs> I'm thinking about Bigfoot, Skitty. I wonder if his feet really are 20 foot inch. Oh, damn. I wish Biscuits was here. She don't know what to do about Bigfoot. Hell, she'll probably eat his ass. Oh, Biscuits, baby. If you could hear me, I need you. Game will go to sleep. Uh, okay. Man, I am starving. Hell, me too. Woo. Hey, what you think we can eat around here? Do you think I got like some berries on a bush or maybe some fish or something like that by the little lake that we can go by? Oh, uh, hell, maybe we should do cannibalism. Yeah, <laughs> you crazy. Yeah, you think I'm joking. Go ahead and turn around and start looking good. I may eat your ass. Okay, more. make sure you walk alongside of me and not behind me no more. <laughs> okay, sketchy. What's I say? Spaghetti? <laughs> I'm just joking. I want to eat you, boy. Your ass taste like shit. Or will I? <laughs> I got you scared. Man, shut up and let's go. Damn, that's a huge ass footprint. Oh, sketchy. I think it's Bigfoot. Man, shut up. Ain't no damn Bigfoot out here. Let's go. What? Ah! Ah! Oh my. Man, I ain't scared of you. Let's throw these damn hands, nigga. Uh, 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 uh. I'm finna eat you. Uh, I, uh, please don't eat my friend. Bigfoot. Bigfoot, do you like, uh, cannabis? <laughs> weed? Man, you better not give him my damn weed. Uh, I like weed. I don't give a damn. You ain't getting my weed. Skitty, is it we give him the weed or we die? Yeah, it's what he said. If you don't give me weed, I crush you with my big foot. Damn, man here. Thank you. This gonna be good for me and my lady. Ha ha. Ha ha, ha ha. See, Sketchy, you was right. Weed is a good thing. It saved our life many a time. Woo, that was a close one. I gotta tell people I made Bigfoot. I gotta tell people I just lost fucking $30,000 a week. Shit. It's all right, you'll make it back. Come on, let's go ahead and go. I'm pretty sure them footprints lead to a way out of here. <laughs> well, off to see the wizard, the one of the wizard of all. Because, 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 because. Wait, you still smell like spaghetti, Sketchy. <laughs> Game one more fucking shoot you. Ooh, I'm beat. We got any Gatorade sketchy? I need some electric lights or something. Big women are not for the week. Trust me. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I thought we were having an earthquake or something. Wait, do earthquakes happen underwater? I think we call them tsunamis. I don't know. Rocks. We don't got Gatorade, but we got LaCroix. Who in this house drink LaCroix? Hey, you better leave my LaCroix alone. Catchy, you drink LaCroix? <laughs> That's so weird. So out of character. I always picture you as the Henny on the Rocks for breakfast type of ratchet. <laughs> Not LaCroix. This guy's a white guy. <laughs> nah, man. I quit drinking. Every time I drink, I always get a new story to tell and a new tattoo. I woke up last week with a goldfish cracker logo on my ankle. Oh, yeah, I remember that night. You wanted to get your mom's initials on your butt, and I talked you out of it. Told you to get the goldfish logo on you. <laughs> Looks good, right? I know. I got good taste. <laughs> right. 
Right, right. Uh, hey, have you heard from Tut? He been gone for like a month. Starting to wonder if he's still leaving alive. Oh yeah, he preparing his last season. Man, kinda sad this is his last, but hey, at least we'll never end. <laughs> you right about that. Our writers never run out of ideas. Who knows what'll happen next? Hey y'all, guess what? I was on offer up just now, and I found this dude selling an enlargement ray. An enlargement ray? What's that? I mean, it's self-explanatory, k more. It's a ray gun that can enlarge things. Make them bigger. Oh, that's crazy. We can end world hunger. Grow food to maximum size and feed the world. We'll be heroes. <laughs> uh, actually, I wanted to buy to make my dick bigger. Why would I care about feeding the world? I'm a roach. Everything y'all eat is already big for me. <laughs> I don't care about none of that. You want to end world hunger? You crazy. Now that right there is a sketchy and camo episode. Some of that dumb shit. Let's go. Might make my biceps larger if this works. It's the Kmo and Sketchy Show. My name come first. Don't play with me. Five bucks say it's a crackhead that opened this door. Oh yeah? I'll raise you 15 bucks say it's a mad scientist preparing for world domination. You guys hear about the stupid ray gun? Uh, why yes. Yes we are. Alright, that's gonna be a thousand bucks. Okay, cool. Kmo, pay the man why won't you? I left my wallet at home. Man, y'all, 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 you always leaving your wallet at the crib. I don't wonder if your ass even got a wallet. Here's the case. Give me the ray gun. All right, y'all. I'm ready. Give me a 15 inch. <laughs> I can't wait to pull up to my ex house and show her what she been missing out on. Come on, K-Moore. Hold on. Shouldn't we read the instructions first? This seems all kind of dangerous. Reading, schmeeding. Who reads nowadays? <laughs> Let's talk more action. Ah! Oh my God! Larry! He broke my ceiling. Do you know how expensive ceilings are to fix? It's your fault, K-Moore. Oh, snap! Sketchy! Sketchy! Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. He threw me through a damn wall. I think he cracked one of my ribs. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything in the instructions on how we can reverse Larry's enlarge. Let me go check. Are you really leaving me here? I clearly need medical attention, k -more. Our top story tonight. A very large roach is terrorizing and destroying the city. Where did the beast come from? What does it want? I've been informed to announce that all Bikini Bottom residents stay inside their homes and pray for the best. This is crazy. All Larry wanted was a bigger dick. That's how all villain arc stories start. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, K-More, but I'm getting the hell up out of here. Bikini Bottom is a hell no for me. I'm taking my ass to Atlantis. Heard the water's warm over there. What? We can't just leave, Sketchy. We did this. We turned poor little old Larry into this big destructive monster. We didn't do anything. You turned him into that. I told your dumb ass to read the goddamn instructions. I don't even like the little bastard. Why should I help him? I already got my flight tickets for me, John John and Bebe to get up out of here. Breaking news! The big roach has stepped and destroyed Bikini Bottom National Airport. Anyone who has purchased any recent plane tickets are screwed. Well, I guess that goes my plan. All right, so I was thinking we can go back to the kid and see if he knows a way to reverse the enlargement. Let's go! Sorry, all sales are final. No refunds. We ain't here for no refund. Well, because the big roach destroying the city. Oh, yeah. That was a little friend, right? You didn't read the instructions? Exactly. No, they didn't read the instructions. Sick. You guys are cool. We should hang out soon. Uh, anyway, is there a way to reverse the effect on Larry? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, there he is. This right here. I knew he was a crackhead. Nah, it's an antidote. Stab him with it and he'll shrink. Easy as pie. Sell it to you for a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? I just gave you a stack this morning. Why are you pressing for another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money talks, bullshit walks. I know I'm 15, but I'm not an idiot. You buying it or not? You heard the kid. He's 15, but he wasn't born yesterday. <laughs> Pay him his money. Fucking hate kid. Damn. I gotta go back to teaching class this morning. Okay, he's over there. All we gotta do is get his attention and shank his ass with this. Let me stab. I always want to stab that big ass bastard. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna grab his attention. Hey Larry, bring your disgusting stuck ass over here. You ain't got no hoes, 
And your weight is small. <laughs> that all I get is attention. Did he? Did he grow more from last time we saw him? It appears that way, Sketchy. It appears that way. Sketchy! Oh no! Larry, spit him out! Spit him out, Larry! Bad Larry! <laughs> I'm back, baby! <laughs> you can't kill a real G. Sketchy! You're alive! How did you do that? I stabbed him with the antidote from the inside. Ain't nothing to it. Denzel Washington ain't got shit on me. Thank God! I thought you were done for. I can't carry this show on my own. What's Batman without his Robin? <laughs> I'm not no fucking Robin. Came up, sketchy. You know you gotta save me. I know you two could do it. It's good to have you back, Larry. You like our Alfred. <laughs> Alfred? The hell this nigga talking about, sketchy? I don't know. Let's go before the cost come. I can go for a slice of pizza and lacrosse. You drink lacrosse, sketchy? Man, this nigga crazy. <laughs> I didn't shoot him, officer. He ran into my bullet. It was self-defense. You can't prove nothing. You crazy. Oh, let me get a triple deluxe combo with baked biscuits. So I order hash brown smothered in gravy. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get a, I guess, a zero sugar cola. My doctor said I gotta cut out the sugar or I'ma lose my foot. Yeah, baby. You know they call me Big Larry. <laughs> I may be short in size, but I make up for it somewhere else. <laughs> oh, oh damn! Somebody breaking into the crib. I got the right tool for that. Come on, busy. There's trouble lurking. Kmore, Kmore, wake up! Oh, sketchy. Man, what time is it? I got class to teach in the morning. Hey, you ain't gonna have no class to teach in the morning. Somebody robbing the house downstairs. Come on, grab some. We gotta show this fool he robbing the wrong house. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go. Show him. K-more, why the hell did you bring a pillow? You told me to grab something, Sketchy. Is this not something? <laughs> How you planning on fighting somebody with a pillow? Oh, you looking at the 10-time pillow chimp here. I took a class master in the fine also pillow taekwondo. I got my black belt and everything. Trust me, Skits. Man, whatever. Let's go. Hey, whoever you are, y'all came to the wrong house. I got my nine, and I ain't afraid to shoot it. Yeah, and I got a pillow. Don't think this shit's sweet. This pillow would knock your two front teeth out. Give your ass a high dental bill. Your dentist gonna thank me. Uh, Sketchy? I don't see nobody. No, no, no. I heard something. Someone's in here. I know it. Well, do you see anybody? Because I sure don't. Hiya, boy. Yo. Sketchy! I think you killed him. Nah, nah. It was a gun. The gun did it. Guns don't kill people, Sketchy. People kill people. Walk into the light, little buddy. It's okay. Oh, boyos. I think this is the end for the old me. I sure I'm going to miss a lot of you. Okay, more the brain size of a walnut. And Sketchy, the angry one who looks like Kodak Black. I love you too. So, so much. <laughs> Damn. Those were some interesting last words. Asshole. Yeah. Why do you have to say some bad characteristics about us? I do not look like Kodak Black. He wish he looked like me. Yeah, yeah. And my brain isn't the size of a walnut. Size of a strawberry, at least. <laughs> ah! What the? How did you do that? I thought Sketchy killed you. Yeah, I shot you dead in your chest. You shouldn't be breathing right now. I'm a leprechaun, boy. Yo. I'm magic. Uh, Sketchy? Wasn't the last time we saw him we was hallucinating from carbon monoxide? We almost died that time, right? I thought you fixed it. And I did fix it. Cost my ass two stacks. I got a carbon monoxide detector and everything. I don't know why the hell we can see him again. Because I'm a leprechaun, boy. Yo. Not a hallucination. The carbon monoxide was just a coincidence. The chance was just unbelievable. Oh, damn. That's ironic. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I think we got some unfinished business to take care of. Make with the loot, Leprechaun, or y'all ass gonna get shot again. <laughs> k what are you doing? He promised us riches and bitches, Sketchy, and I want to collect. You better start making the gold, or your ass gonna walk with a limp like a pimp. No, k -more. I mean, what are you doing? I already shot him. He can't die. You just wasted my bullets. Now give me my gun back. It's okay, boyos. That's why I'm here. 
It's about the gold. Are you going to give us the gold? Because, I mean, I could use the guap. <laughs> yes, the guap you refer to. I can get us the guap, boyos. We can split it three ways. And then we can get the beaches. So many beaches. We're both taking man. Lepra. We kind of don't need the bitches anymore. Taken? What has this happened? Well, I got married season three, episode 16. Sketch star dating Bebe in season two, episode three. Wow, I never would have thought the two of you could pull girls without money. More bitches for me, yeah? Man, it works for me. As long as we get that gold, we can go in the morning. No, um, we can only go at night. This night to be more specific. Why night, leprechaun? I got class tomorrow. I can't just go out for an adventure right now. I don't even got a shirt on. My nipples are cold. No problem at all. What up? Oh my god! I feel violated. Why well, I feel like you just touched me in some specific places. Oh, I did. I was curious about your girth. Sketchy, boyo, would you like me to dress you? Man, hell no. I'm gonna go upstairs and change my damn self. Turn down this street. The spot is at the end of the block. Here we are, the boyos. The gold is inside. Man, this is a trap house. Why the hell of a pot of a gold will be here? Trust the process, boyos. It's in there. All you have to do is go inside and get it. Nope. Man, we're getting out of here. Let's go, K-more. Wait, can't she? Let's hear this out real quick. It is out. This is a trap house, K-more. They will kill us if we go in there. Trust me, Sketchy. Just follow my lead. We can do this. All right. But if the situation gets sticky, I'm leaving you here. Deal. <laughs> now let's go. Hey yo, what you want? Uh, um, hi, my name is Kmore. This is my friend Sketchy. Okay, hi Kmore and Sketchy. What you want? Uh, we're here to, uh, um, we're here to buy drugs. What? Yes, well, we are here to buy your finest drugs. <laughs> I'm a friend and I need them drugs. All right, come in. Follow me to meet the king fan. Kmo, what the hell are you doing? I just got out of jail. I can't go back here buying drugs. Are you stupid? Relax, Sketchy. We're not going to buy any drugs. We're going to walk up in there. The leprechaun going to snoop around, find the gold, and we'll get out of here. This don't sound like a good idea. If we get caught, I'll take the blame, all right? All right, fine. <laughs> Let's go. Sketchy? What? Who's the king fan? I never heard of him. Oh, the king fan is some low-time drug lord. Nothing compared to what me or Scarfin were, but he is ranking up fast. I heard he's ruthless. I'm glad I got out of the game when I did. Hate to have him on my bad side. Well, well, well. If it isn't Scotchy, you might waves around, my friend. It's an honor to meet you. What do I owe the pleasure? Uh, Mr. King fan, sir. We're here to buy drugs from you. <laughs> oh, is that right? You back in the game, Scotchy? No. Absolutely not. My friend here is feeling experimental, so I brought him here. I heard you got the good stuff. Experimental, huh? I like that. We just got a new shipment of today with these new drugs. They're called Halo. Halo? Like the Xbox game? <laughs> What's Halo? Thought you never ask. It's a hallucination drug. Gives the heart an extra 50 beats. Dilates your pupils. That sounds crazy. I guess we came to the right place to buy it. Right, Sketchy? Uh, sure. Yeah. We'll just buy some Halo, King Finn. Some Halo. Okay, okay. Let me go get that for you boys real quick. Be right back. You can't buy this stuff, k -more. Far as I know, the feds waiting outside. What's taking a leprechaun so long? Hell, I don't know. Let me try calling him. Hold on. Leprechaun, where you at? We're running out of time down here. I found it, boyo. I found the gold. It's so shiny. We're rich, boyos. We're rich. He has it, Sketchy. He got the gold. Yes. We're rich, k -more. Okay, let's get out of here, Sketch. We're clear. All right, let's go before the King Fan get back. Oh, so soon. What's the rush? Uh, we were just coming to find you, uh, cause uh, cause we uh, we realized King Fan that we forgot our money at home, so we can't buy any Halo right now. <laughs> Maybe another time. Yeah, uh, uh, another time. Don't be ridiculous, boys. These are on the house. Sketchy right here is an icon of the drug game. It'll be an honor to give him and his friend here a free taste. Oh, uh, well, that's very nice, King Finn. Thank you. Anytime. Take them right now. Uh, what? We'll take them right now, King Finn, but, uh, we got to drive home. And I like to take the drugs at home and, you know, in my room with some candles lit, listening to Barry White. I like listening to Lady Gaga. <laughs> take them now, so I know that you guys aren't feds. Me? 
A fit? Come on, King Fit. I'm the sketch dog. It's all love sketchy, but it's a little suspicious you just got out of prison and came around here looking for experimental drugs. Ain't no way you'll come in here. You have to be a moron. So, take these drugs or I have you shot. You hear that, K-more? A real moron. Fine, we'll take them. Sketchy, I'm scared. I don't want to do this right now. Shut up and just do it. You got us in this mess? Either you get high or you get shot. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to get shot. Pleasure doing business with you, boys. I hope to be hearing from you soon. Sketchy, I don't, I don't feel, feel so good. good. Me neither. I feel, I feel weird. weird. Man, where's this leprechaun? I don't, I don't see him. him. Me neither. Let me, Let try, me try calling, calling, calling him. him. Look, Sketch. I got, I got a marshmallow. Hmm. <laughs> Tasty. No way. I want a marshmallow. Man, how we get home? Where are we? Whoa, Sketch. You seeing all this? This is scary. Yeah. Feel like I'm traveling through time and space. <laughs> I wish this would never end. Sketch. I'm flying. I'm flying! Me too! I'm flying! Man, how do I get down? I don't know! I don't know. But I but don't, don't want to get down! down. <laughs>
my ice cream in the sand. Oh, my tooth hurt. Every time I eat something or drink that's cold, this shit just aggravates. Well, damn. See, you might have a cavity. Hell yeah, man. You need to get that checked out. When's the last time you went to the dentist, K-Moy? <laughs> mm, <laughs> the, the, the dentist? Uh, I'm actually scared of the dentist, uh, Skitty. You a grown-ass man, k -Moy. Ain't no way you should be scared of going to the damn dentist. Well, that's easy for you to say. I believe the dentist will strike your tooth so they can bury it and grow a clone version of you. Then make an army of clones just to rule the world. And one day the dentist will be announced the kings of the planet. See, I'm on to that ass. You are crazy, k -Moy. Ain't no damn way the dentist plotting on all of that. Get in the car. I'm taking you to dentist my damn self. No! k more bring your ass back here. No! You're not getting me alive. <laughs> Man, he sure don't like the dentist, does he? <laughs> well, I guess I eat this ice cream all by myself. Stupid fishies. k more you acting like a baby. Just hop in the car so I can go get your tooth fixed. No, Sketchy. I never go to the dentist. Not over my dead body. No! Damn, this bastard the fastest shit. How the hell y'all run a boat? Little scary ass. Where's my Gatorade? A Red Bull, a monster, anything. Some Adderall rope too. Damn, I'm tired of hell. All right, k -Moore. I'm done playing cat and mouse with your ass. Get your ass in the car. No! I'll never be cloned by Evil Dennis. Oh. Where am I? What's going on? Why am I tied up? I'm thirsty. You at the dentist, and they're going to get their tooth checked out. Please, Getty, let me go. Please. Getty, I'll give you so much money. And matter of fact, I'll even kick Larry out the house if you want me to. Just as long as you let me go, please. No, now shut up. If you be good, I'll take you for ice cream. Uh, oh, ice cream. <laughs> okay, you got a deal. I love me some damn ice cream. <clears throat> uh, K-more? Sketchy? Man, wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Hmm? Oh, no, this is the first time we ever met. Come on in. All right, Camor, uh, when was the last time you've been to the dentist? Never! I know your plan. You want to take out my tooth to make some clones of me so you can have an arm and take over the world. Oh, all right. I'm sorry I asked. Anyways, Camor, it looks like you have a cavity. See? I told you. It's just a cavity, Camor. Yeah, it's just a cavity, Camor. So all I have to do is just fill in the cavity so the two of you can leave my office and, you know, just never come back. Cool. I'm going to wait in the waiting room. Uh, Doc, can you untie me? Uh, no. Sketchy said you might stab me if I do, so, uh, I'm gonna leave that rope on you for now. Oh, that's Sketchy. <laughs> Always two steps ahead of me. Doc, what is that? Relax, relax, Camor. It's just anesthetic. It's just to calm the nerves. Uh, oh, sounds great. Shoot me up, Doc. <laughs> I guess what? <laughs> oh! I didn't say it was for you. Pop some molly before you all came in here. I gotta calm my nerves down real quick. So, Doc, how did it go? It went very well. Come on, k -Moy. Let's go get some more ice cream. You've been a good boy today. Oh, man. Can I have a double scoop? We'll see about that, buddy. We'll see. <laughs> One tooth down, a few more to go. Mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you around, k -Moy. They're going to make me them clones. <laughs> you do me a favor there bruv i need you to find out everything you know about charles the shark i want to be the top dog now for king bob i'll do you this favor king fan you see but when a time comes i'm gonna need a favor see that boy k -more, see oh that bloody k -more? that's that wonka sketchy pal in it what a show what bit you have with him eh <laughs> yep 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 Man, so glad to be off work. I wonder what's in this refrigerator. Still don't got nothing. Came on, when the last time we went grocery shopping? Came on. La da 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 da. Came on, what you over here doing? What you writing? Oh, sketch. <laughs> I'm just writing in my book. 
You writing a book? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always write books. Since when? Uh, since forever. I got four books already. Oh, you got four books? Mm. You probably ain't even that good. Let me see that one. <laughs> All right, Sketch. But just know, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my work. Man, be quiet. Man, wait a minute. This is actually good, k more <laughs> You really think so, Sketch? Man, yeah. This is amazing. Wow. k more you ever thought about going publish? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I just like writing this for myself. k more no. This is good. Like, I never really give you compliments, but this is really good. I mean, I think you can make some good money off of this stuff right here. You think so, Sketch? I know so. Better yet, I can be your manager. <laughs> what? You can be my manager, Sketch? Of course. Now, first things first. Let's go ahead and make this public. I know the perfect guy. I'm going to go ahead and give him a call. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to have my own book published. Damn. Good talking to you, too. Sketchy, <laughs> who was that? Oh, that was my plug about your book. Turns out you really is about to be a published author, K-more. <laughs> and I'm going to have a lot of money. Sketchy, how do you even know this guy? I mean, I met him through a plug of a plug. Pretty much me selling weed to a customer and it happened to just be his cousin. <laughs> I love selling drugs. So many relationships you can have. Sketch! Sketch! You got to be seeing this. My book is number one on Amazon. Oh my God. Man, I'm so proud of you. Boy, you've been making me a lot of money. I mean, you've been making us a lot of money, boy. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, I know, right, Sketch? Number one on Amazon, Kindle, Audible. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> it's like a dream. Yeah, wait a minute, hold on, I'm getting a call. Uh-huh, uh-huh, what? Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. See you then. k more you won't believe who that was. Who? Fish Lee. Fish Lee? The biggest director in the world? Uh-huh. What could he possibly want with us? I don't know, but we about to find out. Let's go. Look, man, I want to let you know right now, the book is great. Everything about it, I love it. It's a hit. It's a hit maker. So I come here to present to you guys, I want to make a movie about your book. Simple and plain. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. You want to make a movie? Out of my book? Yeah, I think it's hot, it's good, it's everything that we need, baby. That man talking fast as hell. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you? I'm sketchy. I'm his, uh, I'm his manager. Oh, okay, cool. Look, man, we love this guy. We need him to be the co-producer on this movie right here. How about that? Is that cool with you? Your book, your movie, and your co-producer. Oh my God, sketch! I'm loving this. K more. Let me talk to you real quick, man. I like it. Ain't no benefits for me. What do you want? Tell him. Gotcha. Excuse me, Fish Lee. I love all of that under one condition. If my guy right here could star in the movie. Uh, okay, that's cool. Love it. You got it, baby. It's a movie. It's happening. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, my book is really being turned into a movie. Amazing. And I'm gonna be the star. First day on set. I can't believe I'm actually in the movie. This is amazing. I'm gonna be some type of big star. Girls are already all over me, so <laughs> they won't be no different. Sketchy, you ready? Oh yeah, K Moy. <laughs> Where's my trailer? Right up in there. Break a leg, buddy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do they only say that in plays? Do they say it in movies too? I don't know. <laughs> oh well, break two legs. <laughs> break a fin. Damn. Now I'm confused. Break a leg, break a, break a fin. Never mind. Man, look at this trailer. This thing is dope. Got his own candy up in here. Bathroom. Let me see. There we go. Needed a little bit of weed up in here. Wait a minute. Where are my clothes at? We're shooting about five minutes. Hey, man. Glad you're here. None of my clothes are here. Do you know what I'm supposed to wear? Uh, what you're wearing right now looks fine to me. What you mean? This tank top? Yeah. What about my hair? I don't got no makeup artist, no nothing. You look just like the character. Were you not there for the meeting? Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, now get your ass ready for shooting. Let's go. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, I get it. I mean, I guess they want me, you know, to be very authentic and everybody else gonna be in makeup and everything like that. <laughs> right, I understand. Sir, why are you still here? Let's go, time is money. Shut up, I was having an inner thought with myself. Everybody quiet on set, I'm ready to work. All right, K. Moore, you the producer, call it. Sketch, everybody on set, let's go. <laughs> Magic is about to happen. Thank you, K. Moore. All right, baby, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Man, wait a minute, this looks just like my my plug house. Where they go, the hole in the roof, the gunshots. Actor, walk in now. Wait a minute, is that, is that Scorpion? In action. Sketch, say the line. What's up, big drug dealer? You, hello, hey, k more cut. Hey, man, you don't yell cut, I yell cut. Cut, cut. What's up, Sketch? Hey, man, why is this so close to my life? Oh. Uh, because it is. <laughs> Why the hell you write about my life, K-Moore? I did it for inspiration, Sketch. You know, since I moved in with you, I just been want to write about our life and just everything that we've been doing and everything that you've been telling me and sharing with me. What else did you write in that book? Oh, all kinds of stuff. You know, the big drug deal you did when you had- Shut, 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 shut up! Man, what the hell you do that for? I mean, I said you was an inspiration to me, Sketch. <laughs> Look, you funny as hell. I can't wait till we get this story when you had made the other drug deal, and then you had lost all that money, and then you had hid it and got it away. <laughs> shut, shut your ass up, K-More. We can't do this. You gonna make me go to jail. No, you not. These are characters playing. What's the worst that can happen? Now, I do have this other scene that maybe we can do. Okay, and you sure it's safe? Yeah, it's good. It's not like you're gonna be selling drugs or anything. Okay, I can do that. Cool. All right, get ready. All right, everybody back. Back in your places, back in your places, back in your places. Man, wait a minute. This look like the house. All right, act is in place. K-more, call it. Action, walk up to the door. <laughs> Action. Hey, yo, is there a shady here? Sketch. Go walk up to the door. Uh. Who is it? Hey man, is there a shady here? Sketch, open the door. And then when you do that, reach in your pocket. Yo man, what up shady? I know you got what I need. Uh, yeah, I got what you need. Man, I appreciate that. That's that good one. Cut! Hey man, how many times I gotta tell you? You don't yell cut, I yell cut. Cut! What up, Sketch? Man, k more, Bro, we gotta change this or I ain't gonna do this movie. You not liking the direction that we going? I thought it was true to the streets. You know, like you. Man, I'm just trying to get up out the hood. I ain't no really street dude. Plus you trying to make me go to jail again. I told you I ain't never going back there again. You kind of suffer from what happened. Oh, get please. Too much information. Man, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about how I used to have to stay up all night. Hurt my head one day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but okay, Sketch. I consider what it is that you're saying. So how do you think we should change the mood? Okay, I got the perfect idea. Sketch, you are a genius. This thing went number one. Oh my God. That was a good idea to make you a rap star, Sketch. Yeah, I know, man. You know, I just didn't want all my business being out there like that, k -more. But this lifestyle right here, this the real me. You know, I'm a real rapper, you know? Really? You should have really went for it, Sketch. I think you could have been a huge star. It's all good, because <laughs> I got all this money now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, man, them kids up in that hospital are gonna be real happy about this. <laughs> what you, what you talking about kids in the hospital? Oh yeah, I donated all five million dollars to the kids that we got off the move. You did what? I thought they would've had a seaweed deluxe here. I forget I ain't at the Krusty Krab. Uh, is it a reason why you looking at me all so angry for, baby? Yeah. You been out of jail three weeks, six days, seven hours, and 26 seconds, and it's the first place you taking me? I mean, damn sketchy, I was holding it down while you was gone. What's up? I mean, baby, I ain't mean to put our relationship on hold. I mean, I just got busy. You acting like I neglected my wife or something. Damn. How am I acting like a neglected wife when I ain't even a wife? Hey, how's it going? Are you guys ready to order? The special today is fried seaweed soup. Okay, uh, I see y'all plate is already full. <laughs> I'm gonna come back later. Damn, 
Baby, you, you want to get married or something? I mean, where's all this coming from? I mean, I don't know, but I do need some stability, Sketchy. And you ain't been showing me that lately. Woo, there they go that word again, stability. <laughs> I ain't never had that. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. I mean, where you see yourself at in the next 10 years? Do you even see me in your future? 10 years? Damn. Uh, I mean, I guess doing the same thing I'm doing now. Chilling at the crib, chilling with K-Moy, smoking a blunt or two. You know, same old, same old. And I mean, as far as you being in my future, hell, I'd love for you to be in my future. I mean, but marriage, I don't know, baby. That's, that's just, that's a whole different level. <laughs> I want more than this life, Sketchy. And if you can't handle that, <laughs> just give me back my mama house key. Damn, baby, I just got your mama house. Baby! Damn! Uh, alright, my manager said y'all gotta order some or y'all gotta get y'all ass out. This is the place of business. Oh, damn. What a long face, Sketchy. <laughs> Did she break up with your ass or something? Oh, you must need a few more minutes. Let me go tell my manager mind his own damn business. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, damn, Sketchy. You smell like ass and fish. <laughs> and you are fish. Would you like some coffee? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. With an extra shot of espresso. So, um, have you talked to Baby recently? You know, uh, since the argument that y'all had? Man, I tried. But every time I do, she sent me straight to voicemail. And she ain't even been responding to my text messages. Look. Oh, damn. This is bad. Straight blue messages. <laughs> Boy, y'all ain't been going crazy. <laughs> so, what you gonna do? Man, I don't know. She just real mad at me. Hey, k more. what you and Biscuits do when y'all have an argument? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Whenever I make my queen mad, I always ride down to the Crusty Crab and get her one of everything on the menu. Turns her frown upside down. Then we have sex, eat some more. Next thing you know, things are back to how they are. <laughs> But I don't think Baby would like one of everything on the menu from Krusty Krab. So I don't know, Sketchy. Have you given the thought to just marrying the damn girl? Ugh, man. Hearing that word make my flesh crawl. I don't know. My pops never married my mom. Shit. He left. Marriage ain't that bad, Sketchy. You go to sleep with your woman, wake up with your woman, eat all the meals of the day with your woman, go to Target runs with your woman. You get the privilege of always having a partner with you that you love and respect. <laughs> like Batman and Superman. What? Batman hated Superman, k -Mo. What are you talking about? He always kept kryptonite in order to kill Superman because he fully believed Superman would have turned bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, like Batman and Wonder Woman. They work together, but had a chemistry where you know when given the chance, they fucking. <laughs> Man, I don't know, k -Mo. Wouldn't it be a lot of people in the same house? I mean, me, you, Bebe, Jun Jun, Biscuits, Larry Ugly Ass. It would get kind of crowded. Biscuit's been living here practically three seasons already. And we only see her big ass when she's part of a story or when it's funny. <laughs> and it's a cartoon. The animator can make another room out of nowhere and the audience just going to go with it. And you're right. We could be like a ghetto Brady Bunch. <laughs> Doesn't sound so bad now. There you go, boy. Now finish that coffee. Go shave. And for God's sake, take a shower. Your ass stink. How the hell you gonna smell like a fish and you is a fish? <laughs> Man, you right, k -Moore. Let me go do that real quick. k -Moore, where you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? Yeah. Baby, ask me the same question. And I'm just curious to what you think. Hmm. Well, in 10 years, I see myself building a school. Having some babies with biscuits. Maturing as I do so every day. <laughs> so you don't plan on being here? With me? No, Sketchy. <laughs> you crazy? Look, don't get me wrong. I love this place, and I love you like a brother I never had. But as time goes on, we'll both have different lives. We'll both be pursuing our lives. But it doesn't mean we can't continue our brothership. We'll always be brothers, Sketchy, to the day you die. <laughs> I say you because I strongly believe your ass is going to die before me. You may be right about that. Ah, I love you, K-Moore. You ain't as annoying as you were in the first episode. You're surprisingly very wise today. Huh, that's because I took that Addis last night. Spent the whole night reading on Aristotle. I'm teaching a class about his philosophies next week. Who is Aristotle? A philosopher who specializes in love. Philia, to be more specific. Oh, right. You're stupid. Philia means brotherly love. He specializes in brotherly love, Sketchy. 
He strongly believed you cannot attain such love or friendship without first achieving self-love. Love yourself, Sketchy. Love yourself, Yule. Love yourself, Kmore. Yes. Love. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go take a shower. This was, this was something, Kmore. All right, Sketchy. Go wash your ass. Then we can figure out a plan on how to win your woman back. <laughs> Damn that boy stunk. Wait, man, Kmo, what are you doing here? We're here to buy something nice and romantic for your woman, jackass. That's the first step to making up. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Uh, okay, so what's step two? You don't know when you get there, Sketchy. First, let's get past step one. Welcome back, boys. My two favorite fish in the sea. <laughs> What can I do for you two? Oh, we're looking for a gift here for my friend's lady. You know, he kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. His ass got dumped at my other job. We do sell a bouquet of roses here for $30. $30? That's outrageous. Stop being cheap, Sketchy. We'll take it, Mr. Cashier. What else you got? Hmm. Okay. We also got this big hearted shape of talking like a chill for 50 Yep, add that to the cart. What else? Okay, I see y'all rich niggas trying to clean house. We do have this diamond ring here. Only 10K. 10K? Oh, hell no. Nah. You smoking milk in here. Ain't no way I'm getting the ring for fucking 10K. No. Add it to the cart. You need it, Sketchy. I don't need no goddamn ring at 10K, K more. Are you insane? Relax, Sketchy. I'll buy it for you. Think of it as a, a wedding gift for me. <laughs> well, where you get all that money from? I got it from selling Bitcoin. I sold it before the value dropped by the thousands. <laughs> Morons. Get the ring, Sketchy. All right. We we'll added the ring to. Damn. All right. There's one diamond ring added to the cart. We also selling this gold Rolex in case all niggas want to ride out with your day in style. Hmm. All right, K-Mo. Let's do this. All right, let's do it, buddy. <laughs> Good luck. What you want, Sketchy? Shh. I'm here because I had a lot to think about doing our breakup. You have been a huge part of my life, and I do see you being in it forever. One day I want to have kids. Then grandkids grow old together to the day I die. I say I because Cable has made me believe I'm gonna die before everybody I know. So, anyways, would you do me the honor and giving me your hand and? Hold up! What the hell you think you doing, Sketchy? I'm proposing to you, just like you wanted me to. I didn't want to be proposed to now, Sketchy. Especially not after I break up with you, realizing you don't want me in your little funky ass future. Then what do you want? I'm trying to fix what we hold on. K-Mo, you can't turn off the boombox. This conversation ain't going how we planned. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, I'm just trying to fix what we had. Look, all I wanted to do was see if whenever you thought of your future, if I was in it. I want to know I have stability. Or if I'm just wasting my time with another thug, how I wasted my time with Tyrone. I gave up 10 years of my life hoping that man would change for nothing. Oh, now I see. See, now that you explain it that way, it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I just want to know you'll always be my baby. And I'ma always be your baby. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> always, girl. We always gonna be together. We like uh, Batman and Wonder Woman. Batman and Wonder Woman? They barely had chemistry. And when they did, it was just mostly Batman being afraid to lay a pipe to him. Now, we boy like Batman and Catwoman. Or maybe Batman and Talia, his baby mama Talia or whatever her name is. But you know what I'm saying. We got chemistry, babe. <laughs> Damn, there's a lot of shit I don't know about Batman. So what about getting married then? We gonna get married one day for sure. I'm tying that ass down. But not until we both ready. And plus, Biscuits told me k more sometimes sleepwalk naked in the house. So I'm not in a rush to move in right now, honey. I don't want to see nobody balls dangling. Well, damn, all right. I guess everything is cool now, huh? No, not yet. I mean, the best thing about making up is having sex. Get your sexy ass in here. Oh, all right. <laughs> Came on, I'm going to see your ass later. <laughs> Peace out. Come on, baby. I missed you. Wait. You have the car keys. <sighs> oh, well. Guess I'll just walk home at night in the ghetto. <laughs> Hope nobody robs me. Shit. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, boys. Today is the day we come out of the shadows and take what's rightfully ours. Thanks to Jim and his walk, we now know the secret entrance to Scarfin's mansion. Today is the day we storm and take out Charles the Shark. Shh, 
Be quiet, Sketchy. The election on. Oh yeah, question. What would you guys do about the gas prices in Bikini Bottom? Oh, well, if I'm elected, I'll bring them down and make transportation most affordable. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not that simple. Because of the decrease of the gas, the price must remain the same, if not go up even further. Bro, it's like all these dudes sound exactly the same. <laughs> the voice act ain't even trying no damn more. Man, be quiet. It's only one dude that's talking for me and you and everybody on this show. He doing the best he can. Uh, what a fair. Those are not true. There's never been any proof. I would never cheat on my beautiful wife. But according to eyewitnesses, you were said to have been in the pocket of Clarence Butterscotch, right? He blackmailed you into working for him, isn't that true? Hell yeah, it is true. He better say it is too. I don't know what you're talking about. Clarence Butterscotch is a menace to society. He shouldn't have been let out of jail, and the rumors of me working for him are just rumors started from the media. Yeah, question for Bob Fisherman. If you were elected, what would you do about the jails being overstocked with prisoners? Oh, I would build another prison with my own two fans if I had to, so they can continue to get bad people off the streets. And what money would you use to fund this? The taxpayers? We gotta do something about the mayor. I don't like his ass. Man, just let it go. I just got a jail. I'm not trying to get back into any more dilemmas anytime soon. You're a baby baby, I promise you. Daddy will be home real soon, okay? I just gotta handle some business real quick and I'll be home in ASAP. All right. Hey, yo, what? Yo, what are you doing here? Get out of my chair. Come your text, bloody mate. Don't be scared. Relax. I'm a friend. Oh, you a mess with the wrong shark. Security. Boys? <laughs> your security is dead. We wipe those boys out like flies. Boys? Now drop your gun. What an outrage. We almost lost that damn debate. Me being tied with Clarence Butterscotch is a huge problem. I'm aware if the reporters get Clarence's side of the story, the truth will indeed come out and I'll lose this election. Hmm, I have an idea. I must have Clarence assassinated before his part of the story comes out. But wouldn't it be easier to assassinate Bob Fisherman? No, I've tried having him whacked before. Didn't work. Now Bob has security surrounding his house at all times. Clarence has got to die. Ooh, damn, it's harder than being tied up in Biscuit's ass out here. Shit. Yeah, I don't know about being in Biscuit's ass, but it's definitely hot. It got a lot to do with the pollution. I feel like we had this conversation before, Sketch. Yeah, we have. Pollution can never end if people continue to litter and shit. So did you like the Morbius move or the Batman move? Man, Batman was trash. <gasps> I think so too sketchy, but I don't know why everybody clowning Morbius. I love that damn movie. People just dick riders. <laughs> it's just three hours of boringness. I hated it, but I did love that cat woman with her fine ass. Ooh, boy, you ain't lying about that. <laughs> Lock to the door. Got a package delivery for Kaymore. So, y'all still don't see how y'all sound alike. Come on, sketchy. That joke getting old. We don't sound none alike at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a dumbass. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all boys later. I gotta go to my temp job where well, they be beating my ass. <laughs> don't even ask. Hey, what's in the package? See, I don't know. It's too small to be a jacuzzi I order. Go ahead and open it. Oh, okay. Guilty? What the? What the hell does this mean? And what am I guilty of? What did I do? This is giving a whole lot of I know what you did last summer vibe. I don't like that. I'm just glad it's you and not me. Oh, man, we gotta figure out where this came from, Sketchy. Come on, I need your help. I got your ass out of prison. Ah, shut up. Okay. Uh, wait, it's the address. All right, we're going to go to this place right here. Let's do it. Wait, man, I know this place. This is the same location that Sketchy you kidnapped us at. <gasps> you right, Sketchy, it is. <laughs> and it still smells like cigarettes and ass in here. Damn, you don't think they'll clean the place up. Damn, never thought we'll be back here. Yeah, me neither. And I never thought it would still be smelling like ass. But hey, I guess we both wrong. This one I saw all them niggas on cocaine. Yeah! Uh, damn! I'm really focused right now, bitch! Kick his ass, K-Moore! Oh my god, this man's going crazy! Never knew cocaine to make him do that. K-Moore, how is your cocaine addition anyway? I don't know. I've been attending NA. It's a slow process, but it's working. <laughs> Whoa! Sketch, this a picture of you! And it says. It ended and began here. Uh-oh. 
I'm worried about what that could mean. Man, fuck this. Who the hell is this guy? The real little some shit? Yo, yo, please. Spare me my life, man. I got a kid, wife. Come on, man. I got a family. <laughs> Very amusing. I know everything about you, Bloody Mike. I know you got a wife, a kid. I know you originally moved to Bikini Bottom and wanted to be a dancer in the stars, but ended up working for Scarfit, then working for Sketchy, and now you're doing your own thing. That's what's up. You had to glow up, I see. But now it's my turn, Charles the Shark. I'm on the come up. This is my city. I'm okay with that. You can have the throne, bro. In the business. Just don't kill me. I just want to go home and see my family. Hmm. You're surrendering. All right. Since you're not making it hard on yourself, I'll let you go. Besides, I don't want to leave your children fatherless. Get out of here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, King Finn. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it's just a, a reflex. Boys, send his wife flowers. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he ever trusts me. Dump the body somewhere. Oh, yeah. This feels just right. King of the city. Man, I can't believe my boy Charles, dog. I live in a business. <coughs> I didn't think this could happen to him. I should have been looking out for you, my guy. Now I'm thinking about your wife. Your kids. And they gonna miss they pops. I don't know how somehow I feel like this is all my fault. Sketchy, don't do that to yourself. Charles was a good guy. And he knew what would come with this business. Plus, you got out of the drug game, Sketch. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself about this. I know K more, but I still run these streets. People know not to play with me. If I was there, this would have never happened to Shark. It's all right, Skits. All we got to do is find out who did this to him. <laughs> Whoever did this to him, they going to pay. What we going to do, Skits? Trap in, K-More. Because next season, it's going to be our craziest season so far. Oh, you already know I'm ready. I love to hear that. They ain't fuck with the wrong Shark. Strap up. It's time, my nigga. I just said strap. Shut up and strap up and let's go. I ain't ready for what's about to come. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Y'all done woke up the wrong demon. Hey, right, nigga. Put that book down. You know your ass can't read. <laughs> you got a visitor. Every time nigga get in prison, they want to go ahead and convert to Islam. <laughs> no, damn well, they don't want no shit about religion. But I like the boy. He tried his best. <laughs> oh, bald head ass. Hello. What up, cuz? What you doing here? Ain't you the mayor? Yes, I am the mayor, cuz. But I have a proposition for you. I? I'm willing to make a deal for your freedom. If you're interested. I'm listening. Kill Sketchy and his friend k -Moore. I was in the back, I was chillin' with a Renzo My own ass man still playin' the Nintendo I don't give no fuck, still playin' with my Kenfo Livin' in Cali, still smokin' that Endo I was in the mall, do a shopping in the window Got a white girl, lips pink like flamingo Got an accent, they don't understand my lingo Got an old bitch, all we do is play bingo Got an old bitch, all I do is play bingo Got a girlfriend, but I still say I'm single All about my chips, you can call me a Pringo Never iron clothes, so you know I stay Renko I always stay Renko? I always stay Renko Got a lot of deals, money rain like Sprinko Got a lot of bars, but I never had a signal Pop a lot of pills, you can call me a pimpo Call you a pimpo? Call me a pimpo Read a lot of books on my Amazon Kindle Talk on the ear just to make the girl tremble Point like a pen cause I never had a pencil Never had a pencil? Never had a pencil Hang with the homies like Avengers or Simple Not too pop but they say we resemble Got a Lamborghini but I never had a rental Never had a rental? Never had a rental Came with a goat and a mall and a mento Eat a lot of candy but I never had dental When I eat an ass man I never eat a gento Never eat a gento? Never eat a gento Did it one time it was really accidental Like a grandmaster for the five instrumental Got a lot of money but I keep it confidential <laughs> Keep it confidential nigga Y'all niggas be out here talking about how much money y'all got, man. Forget all that. How much bread you got in your refrigerator, nigga? How much ladies you got on your damn tomato, nigga? Talk about that. Talk about some real shit. I was in the back, I was chillin' with a Renzo I don't ask man, still playin' the Nintendo. I don't even know fuck, still playin' with my Kenfo. Living in Cali, still smokin' that Endo.